He's almost 30. Not 15. Nervous start for Shapoval. Made an early error that time. A, a toss that goes awry. Love I must expect Shapoval after you see his results here. He's been losing the first set in virtually every match he's played. First round, and he lost the second set in that one against Sebastian Corda. I must expect him to get off to a slow start here, and he has. And he's been open. He talked about it again tonight. He spent a lot of time on the court. That's where this weather that you outlined, Jimmy, it's much less damaging to him, isn't it, than a normal open? No question about it. it Kid me, it was, you always have at least a day or two where it's so humid here in New York, and it's tough to get through those days and compete the next day if you had a long match. All right, there's a little mix in. Serve and volley. That would That'd be a, 40. an amazing <laughs> boost to his game because yes. he has huge ground strokes. And a lot of times players that have very loose racket head speed type ground strokes have a little trouble at the net because in the nets you got to be a little firmer. And he did a good job that time. He was usually not a great volleyer to this point. Such easy power, Shapovalov. Yeah. Yes, he's got long, flowing strokes, and the ball just shoots off his racket. Is that natural, Jimmy? A little bit. It's it's to me. It's if you start at a very young age with a very relaxed hand, you learn how to time that sort of rotation through, and the big muscles pull it through, and you get easy power. And he's one of those guys that. Shapovalov saved First two, game. but on the third. And then you boost to convert, break point. Actually, I also think for Shapovalov, one of the reasons he gets power, he's not that tall, but his arms are 
remarkably long. Yes. So he's about six feet tall, I think, but his arms are around right. a six three guy. So that he has that good space and a lot of a lot of whip going on. Is there any? I'm, th I'm watching Karenja Busta in this first game, thinking what we talked about last night with Medvedev. You can't hit the ball through him. Is this like a little bit of a? It's is there a little Medvedev a, in this guy? It's a little Medvedev. He's just not serving quite as effectively. Pretty good serve, but not as good. And I'm he not does cover the court really well. I mean, he, he does run really well. I don't know if he quite can come up with the kind of shots that Medvedev has been from crazy positions in the court. Not 15. The serve, the average serve speeds so far at this open, it's Shapovalov's about 10 miles plus, Karenia Busta. Surprising couple oh, of errors from Karenia Busta to sort of allow Shapovalov right back in this set. It's love 40. He's not broken yet, but you don't expect those type of errors from Karenia Busta. Challenge by Shapovalov, which would give him the break. The ball was holding. Feeling like he doesn't quite believe in this challenge, but we'll see. He does believe. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right. Shapovalov. So interesting start. Each man breaks. Strange one thing. Game. First set. For. Karenia Boost is that number one, he hasn't won a point on his own serve, but for Shapovalov, he made first serves. He only won one of four first serve points. Which tells me he's got to find a serve that Karenia Boost doesn't like. Oh 50 on. <laughs> That's the one. 119 on the tee. <laughs> yeah, you can hit the line at 119. Karenia Boost doesn't like it. See how he plays uh, Karenia Busta here in the, the ad court serves. Pretty pretty much in the alley. Karenia Busta challenging. Karenia Busta couldn't come within five feet of that, so he says there's no way that could be in. But he's also walked to the other side. <laughs> That's an unconfident challenge. Good reason. I think there's a human that could have reached that with me. That serve? No, probably not. Forty-nine. Wow. 
Well, we're going to ask, how does the shot maker Mr. hit the ball? Who's Ace's help? Yeah. <laughs> well, you hit it around him. Yes. And that's what he's done three. in these three serves. Three of them in this game. Left. Yeah. I do like, I got to say, Shabavalov had a brief moment in time when he lost his serve rhythm a little bit. He changed his motion when he was 18, 19 years old, shortened the backswing part, didn't have this separation that you see where he tosses in the arm and goes down. And had some double faulting issues. It has been fixed for the most part. He's got the old motion that he, that he had when he was 17. He's gone back to that. And the other thing that Mikhail Yuzhny who's been coaching him and working with him quite a bit, has helped. Is he's just managed to get him a little more percentage type tennis. Usually he was a complete percentage guy. Wow, that's two big shots from Karenda but Shepovalov never saw a shot that he didn't think was green light. I should go for a winner on this right. ball. And you know, he's going to have matches where he just wasn't going to be able to pull that off. And now I feel like he does have a chance to make longer runs because he can stay in points. He can stay in rallies. And he still has that, as I said, easy power. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Turn long there, so after the trade breaks, a three ace game helps shut the ball off. Get the first hole. So, Jimmy Arias, if you'd ever played here and drawn qualifiers in your first four rounds, you'd have gone to Atlantic City right after, wouldn't you? I mean, yeah. You'd have felt that hot. Would, that would have been amazing. <laughs> Especially because I'm not even sure, was Karenia Busta seeded that year? He wouldn't have been ranked that high. Maybe, you know, one of those 20 to 32 type seeds, possibly. We emphasize when I say that it's not that's not on Karenia Busta. That was just extraordinary luck of the draw. They allowed him in the room to make the draw that year. He was actually the 12th seed. 12. Wow. I didn't realize he was ranked that high at that time. I thought the run to the semis of the U.S. Open is what sort of broke him into that that echelon. There were some decent players in that run. We should mention the second round qualifier he beat was Cam Norrie. Okay. Third round was Nicholas Mahu. Okay. And then, and then 16's yeah. Shapovalov. Quarterfinals he beat Diego Schwartzman. That's a look at Shapovalov's doubles partner, Rohan Bopana. They made quarterfinals yeah. here as well. It's a good tournament for Dennis. 49. Doubles players have moved into the stadium here, by the way. It's nice to see. The surviving doubles players now have their own suites. Nice. Karenia boost a series of shots. Two games all. Two all. USOpen.org, you can check out and follow the doubles action, by the way. We're heading into the final days of the doubles play. And it's all available to your one-stop shop. And you can shop, too, at USOpen.org. You want to talk about a nice story. You know, we've heard a lot about the Paronkova story, which is phenomenal in singles. You know who's going to play in the women's doubles finals here? Vera Zvonareva. Wow. Vera Zvonareva, one ten years ago, played for the Wimbledon Championship. Oh, nice cut there. That she's been trying to come back for a while in both singles and doubles, and she's partnered with Laura Sigmund, and they're in the doubles finals. Good for her. 
Here's an example of those extremely long arms. <laughs> Shafa ball off. Yeah. That ball was miles away from him, but he was able to reach out and get enough racket on it. Anybody ever called him Spidey? I get a little bit of that in. I'm going to tell him you did. <laughs> Stick that arm out there, and it kind of keeps going. Yeah, it does. up the serve after dropping yeah. his first service game. Fourth ace already in his third service game. Okay. Wow. This is the point after the first game. Strong service game for Shapovalov on serve. Men's tennis has been Rafa, Rafa, Rafa. Yeah, no, it seems impossible, doesn't it? That another, another Spaniard could win a major. Of course, Ferrer played in the final at the French. Not 15. Poor Ferrer was. Stuck behind those all time yeah. greats and yep. sort of yeah, such a great fighter, such a great player. career. Yeah. 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 Really did. that just hit his biggest serve of the match at 114, which is actually pretty tall. You would think he could pop that serve in the 130s every once in a yeah. while. So far, he hasn't shown that at all. That's great. That Sorry, that, that was a great move forward from Shabavalov. I was about to complain the point before because he was staying so far behind the baseline and they were sort of rallying from there. And this time he sh shuffled up just one step and that took enough time away that Carreño Busta not able to run this down. Interesting about the serve, Jimmy, because Carreño Busta 15, has been a good hardcore player in his career. But when I watch him serve, I think of so many of his predecessors who mainly were very good clay court players and just the serve as a point starter. Yes, exactly. And he's kind of using it the yeah. same way. You're right. Yeah. It's gotten to in trouble again. He's already been broken once. Double break point now for Shapovalov. You know you're not serving too big when you're winning 44% of your first serve points. <laughs> Again, Shabavalov, who, if he had a weakness, I would say return to serve would be one of the biggest ones that he has. Although it has gotten better. Well, as you as you said, <laughs> there you go. Well, there's 123. And that's the best shot he's hit yeah. by far so far. By far. Yeah. He's got it in the bag. He just, I guess, he only wants to use it when it's break point. Oh! 
go. A little, uh, his version of Vamos. Three games all, first set. A nice save from 15.40 for Cranio Busta. Yeah, and that Vamos was more of a message to Shapovalov mm -hmm. to say, yeah, you had me there and I got through that game. Momentum comes back towards me now. I want you to be aware of it. So we'll see if that affects Shapovalov at all. Shapovalov took virtually no time off during the whole COVID five month layover. Shapovalov, he's six for six when he gets up to the yeah. half. That's pretty bad. Scrambling yeah. by Karenga Boost. Yeah, it was. Starting with a great return from that position. Shapovalov was at IMG when he was able to be there. We didn't let him on the grounds the whole time, but he found another club and played with a few of our kids until we let pros back on campus. As you get a look at Shapovalov's mom, Tessa. And a quick addendum to that, usually has not been here and it's quarantine issues that have kept former pro from being on team shop out here. Well, each man had a rough first service game. Both have settled in since. Now, from a statistical standpoint, there's one guy that's hitting winners and another guy that's not hitting winners. And it's, we, we kind of knew that would be the case, but I didn't know if it would be quite this stark. Nine winners for Shapovalov, one for Karenia Busta so far. Ace is part of that. That's five out of that's nine. That's true. Right, because this was a rally. They were in the point, and the fact that he stopped the point to challenge, if he's, I think he is right. But well, if he's right, he's love thirty. He's love thirty. But if he's wrong, he's giving the point away. Wow. Love thirty. I'm gonna have to say the lines person must have been blocked to miss one like that. And perhaps Fergus should have gotten involved mm -hmm. in that one. Second winner from Karenia yep. Busta. I mean, you know one thing we saw the other day, Karenia Busta can save break points now. Yeah, he can. <laughs> that whole Djokovic thing wouldn't have happened had he not saved a triple set point against him. Thirty-one. 
It's almost as if Karenia Busta gets a little more aggressive when he gets behind in the score. And he still doesn't make that many errors, even when going for it. Why not technically his strokes look as though they should be so secure? Right there. I mean, that, those are the kind of points having for four years now that Shapovalov, when he plays these points, you just go, man, this guy's got he's a got, shot. He's, he's got yeah, a shot. It's true. <laughs> That's just so good. He serves for the first set. I just realized something, and sometimes the break point stat isn't quite accurate. They were both one for three going into that point, as we showed you, but that's partly because there were two different games Shapovalov had break points. In one of them, it was Love 40, yeah. and he broke on the first try, mm -hmm. so he's one for one. He had two more to go with. And the reason Karina Beast is one for three, first game he had Love 40, and it took him. Third point to finally get it. I would, uh, and I kind of keep it myself it. because the, the stat that I would like to uh, attach to the Blake points, I think it's important. How many different games did they come in? Exactly. Like That's if you have six, if you're one for six in break points, but they all came in one game. Yeah. That's a way different nope. to me statement I, than saying you've yes. had break points in six different games. Yes. Wow, that was a great return. I, that, I like that camera angle sometimes because you get a sense of exactly Nothing what these up. guys are going through. And this ball almost was behind Karenia Busta. Managed to get in, then he was able to stand his ground and find the line on the pass. Although Shapovalov should have known the only chance, the only place he could go with that passing shot, no way he was getting there in time to go cross court. Had to go down the line. Yes, the test here can Shapovalov use that serve? 15 today to get out of this and win the set. I mean, look, one of the things that is a little bit for Shapovalov, hard to believe he's going to keep this up, is he's serving at 82% first serve percentage. And that's not because he's just spinning it in. He's, he's hitting it big and going for corners. That's the volley he would have missed a year ago. Yeah. And he almost missed it Sorry, today. Okay. Just a little bit of a swing, a little bit too much on it again. Loose big strokes when they come to the net. They really got to shorten up. Actually, that was pretty solid. That was short and firm. This is what he didn't used to have. to the middle of 121 and now sixth ace gives him set point told you he couldn't keep up the 81 percent <laughs> first serve percentage he's yeah, gotten it to 83 exactly. percent now all right where do you go here set point that's the problem which i'm not sure is he I'm, going wide i mean 
it depends how confident he is. If he wants to just get out with an ace, he'll go T. If he doesn't mind playing, he'll go Y. Yeah. He went Y. James his first game. major semi. He wins the first set. to continue. I don't know if he's afraid to face second serves against Shapovalov, but he's he is serving at a very high percentage himself. But also very safe serves like that yeah. one. Not at his full speed into the body, making sure he gets those first serves in. That's a good example. Almost Ten miles an hour difference. Well, it's not just this match. That's basically that's been their numbers First game. coming into the sport. It's worked for him. It's, it's put him here, buddy. It's a good game. Four first serves holds it love. Nine years old, he's just closing in on his 30th birthday. And I, if you're carrying your boosting, I can't believe that he doesn't sit there and think, I will never have this good a shot to win a major. Yeah, you're right. That's a thought never. that he doesn't yeah. want to have, though. Right. If he has that thought, he might as well default. Won't be able to breathe. <laughs> well, we saw that today, didn't we? Yeah. For a little while. <laughs> Luckily, it doesn't look like Shabavalov has those thoughts. Even when he was 17, uh, when yeah. he played Nadal, and you know, Nadal's one of his heroes, and he's in a tie break in a final set in his home country, sort of bursting onto the scene out of nowhere. And I can't forget match point where he just smoked two forehands, the second one for a clean winner, as if it was nothing. It was the kind of stuff when you can do that, finish off a match against someone like that and not show any nerves. Part of me thought he's only 17, he didn't even know what was going on, but. Ooh. That was kind of dangerous. That was dangerous, but what a heck of a course correction that was. 15. And I just, Jimmy, I wonder, I mean, to me, the difference in that concept we're talking, he's 21. He has tons of runway. I mean, as phenomenal as those big three have been, pretty good shot Chapo's going to outlast him. Yeah. And Carina Busta, probably not. I mean, you're right.
surprising that that pattern would work for Karenia Busta. His backhand to Shapovalov's forehand, but he did just keep it sort of central in play and outsteadied him, out patienced him. There's the overall. Oh, nice get. You know, people don't realize those type of points remind me why you see less people getting to the net because you have to hit a very good volley against these guys for the ball to get away from them, to get it out of their range. They move so well from the back of the court. It wasn't a bad volley from Shapovalov, but it left him vulnerable to that pass down the line. Well, Karenia Boost has had some looks now on the Shapovalov serve. It was love 30 in the final game of the first set. Mr. Shapovalov wants that, so. Right, near side. He's undefeated so far tonight in challenges. Let's see if that stays intact. Yes, he does. And I think that's a deduce. Seven days, so that might have been the most important one so far. This added dimension to Shapovalov's game because Karenia Busta stands so far back. There's his doubles partner saying, yes, that's what we were working on, playing all this doubles. <laughs> he sees him so far back that he knows he's vulnerable to the serve and little dribbler volleys. And as fast as Karenia Busta is, he still wasn't quite able to run that volley down. And that was a very safe volley. It wasn't too short. It wasn't too, too low over the net. And it was still good enough. Shapovalov and Ad Pata, who we saw them. They lost in the quarters here to Roger, Roger and Tikal. I think it's actually very good for Shapovalov to play doubles Absolutely. because the two shots that are very important doubles, three shots really serve. He does that well anyway, but. Uh, 
return to serve is in doubles, you have to be very precise on return to serve because you have a net man sort of poaching. So you get a lot of work on return to serve and then volleys as well. And that was another bit of a weakness for him. So doubles is a great idea for Shapovalov. This has been a long, tough first service game to start the second set. Kind of tough long rallies That's are exactly what Karina wants to want to some sort of look back at his box and fist pump a couple of times. The longer the rally, that one 24 shots, it's Shapovalov's the one who's probably going to pull the trigger at the wrong time and go for something he shouldn't. Slice of that second serve close shot. Got Missed the second shot. Second set. Second set. Yeah. Missed the sitter. Yeah. So Karenia Busta jumps out. Shapovalov again. He was down 5 2 in the fourth set. Two sets to one to Fritz. And he's still here. Well, this actually is somewhat important game for Karenia Busto. Yes. He broke once and he's had a break lead in the first set. Oh. And was immediately broken. Left. And I feel as though Shavala has to do this more often is take the ball a little bit earlier, not just try to go with power. Karenia Boost is too far back to hit through. You're right. It does have a little Medvedev feel to it. So you gotta you gotta hit it big and take it a bit earlier. And when Shavala has done that, when he stepped up, it's been too much for Karenia Busta. So good again. Early in that point, Shapovalov was in a little bit of trouble. Karenia Busta was controlling things, pushing him around. But one good shot from Shapovalov, and he turned the point around. That angle just continued. Shapovalov being in control. Now he steps up. Mom does not smile, though. No. Not in practice either when I've seen her <laughs> next to the court. <laughs> thought about Shapovalov coming to net. It's fascinating because, again, to refresh their history head-to-head, -head, they played three hard-court matches, and Karenia Boost has won them all. 
So it's, it was Chapo trying to figure out a way. I believe Karina Busta even won every set on a hard court. I think it were all straight set matches on hard court. Three, uh, yes, there were three tie break sets, however, that three years ago, the match here. Mixed in there, Drew, and Eric. You know what? That's one of the first slices he's hit. And I think that's like Karina Busta was thinking, wait a minute, you don't have that shot. You never use it. You know, as I said, important game for Karina Busta because he didn't consolidate the break in the first set, eventually lost the set, and here is Another game where he could consolidate the break and sort of keep the momentum in, in a little bit of trouble. Break point down and a second serve opportunity. Master Chabot challenging. He's challenging, but he knows he's wrong. Left on that baseline. One. The ball was called in. Well, didn't do quite enough with the return, and it allowed Karenia Boost to step in. Duke it was only a 78-mile-an-hour second Mayfield. serve, so it should have been hit with something on it. It wasn't. By uh, pro standards, this is a long three game set. They're into the 21st minute. Yeah, no question. Without a sit long, down. Long games. A lot of points already. had about 48 hours to adapt to the new reality for the first time in so long. And a bad straw coming down to the end without the big three. Or any of the spare others who've won majors like Murray Bavrika. The youngest man in the final eight, Shapovalov, now final seven with Zverev winning today. They just had a 22 minute sequence, three games. Again, consecutive breaks, and now Shapovalov right back into love 30.
फिफ्टीन थर्टी He is now playing 21 points at net, Shapovalov. Just over a set. And he's 116. Oh! 31. Mr. Kreni Busta, challenge on call. We're going to get a challenge from Kreni Busta. Chapovalov wasn't aware of the challenge, and that's why he's asking, but it did seem to be an immediate challenge by Karenya Busta. So Karenya Busta has two challenges remaining. So break point again, although even this game is highlighting one big difference between them, which is that Shapovalov is, can get free points on his serve. Yeah, he, he can, but he has. And he has, but he also hits some pretty good first serves that Karenya Busta does get back in play, and that's a little disconcerting for Shapovalov at times when he hits a serve that he normally gets a free point off of. Did not come up with the first serve there on the break point. Didn't come up with the first serve, and he did move in nicely on the forehand approach, but he hit it a little too central, and it made for a pretty easy forehand cross court pass from Torreña Busta. Actually, Shapovalov did a good job getting his racket on it. Well, USOpen.org will uh, keep you abreast of the final week of the US Open. Schedule the matches and be able to know when all the doubles championships will be contested. The Australian Open men's doubles champions were knocked out today. That's Rajiv Ram of the United States and his partner Joe Salisbury. They lost in the semis. I think that's been a bit surprising to me is the number of breaks of serve already in this match. Boost has broken three times. Prior two times he broke serve, he was immediately back. So therefore, you're not surprised it's 15 third. I mean, I'm not overly surprised, but I also know this is somewhat important for at some point for Karini Boost that when he gets a break to be able to consolidate and sort of keep a little bit of momentum. You do sense the Chef Ball's finding it a little more difficult in this set to come up with winners. in and covers the net beautifully. When he hit that approach shot, I thought no four. chance. And Carreño Busta, this approach, Carreño Busta hit the exact pass I thought, but it was just that long arm. And then pretty good reflexes from Shapovalov.
17 net points won and now two break points. <laughs> But you, now you know, by this point, set, this set, guy, he's not going to do anything easy this U.S. Open. Nothing so far at this U.S. Open has happened in a straightforward manner for Shapovalov. And the other thing I think, Jimmy, we've seen a couple of matches here the last few days and nights where after a man drops the first set, things kind of spiral off the rails. I don't think they knew that was not going to happen. That's not. Tonight. I was just yes. going to say that won't happen in this match. No, we even two sets to love. The, the fight will go on till the end for both these guys. Yeah, this set it's been as I said, it's tough, isn't it, for Shapovalov to win rallies, to win points. It's been more difficult, and that proves it. That stat we just showed you 0 for 6 on second serves. That was the first double fault oh. of the match for either player. Seventy-six percent first serves for Shapovalov, seventy-four for Karenia Busta. The match that preceded this, Osaka won fairly easily, <laughs> serving forty-seven percent. That's frightening. She was absolutely crushing the ball, however, in some of those rallies. I mean, she looked a lot like the Osaka who won this title a couple of years ago. game in this set for either guy. We've played 34 minutes. The first set took 35 minutes. First chance for anyone to have sort of a comfortable hold. Come on! Yeah, jump up. Yeah, it's been a while after four straight breaks of serve. Three games all. Second set. Shapovalov hit. This was a great angle. And then from miles away around the net post and 
give it to Karenia Busta. He, he wasn't just admiring his cross court angle backhand, which most <laughs> many players yeah. might have. Why doesn't Karenia Busta do that? Yes, I mean, he, he, a serve plus one, but it was 101. No, I know it wasn't the serve, yeah. but he can right. hit the ground strokes pretty hard and flat and through the court when he wants to. Just chooses to be solid and steady, which I don't blame him. That's worked against Shapovalov in the past. Flurry of breaks of serve. Each man holds now Shapovalov. as we edge past New Bones New Bones. the middle of the second set. Close to. But off there. This happened to Shapovalov in at least one other match we've seen where it felt like he was serving Love 15 too many games. That's the first point. Well, he has to be careful because this is where Karenia Busta stumbles Love first. Seven. And the second, Shapovalov has won just two out of ten second serve points. Helped him in the first set that he only hit five second serves in the entire set. He's getting a little dicey now. Love 30 and another second serve and another bad toss. Ooh. And another double fault after the Love bad toss. Well, this is almost like a replay of the first game of the match. See if he gets back to 30. Yeah. He'd made the overhead, oh. and then I didn't think he yeah. would make the volley. So. Yeah. Yeah. Good pass here. Very nicely played. Boy, carved volley cross court. Yeah. He is volleying much better than I've ever seen him volley. It's a carbon copy. will get broken here from the first game of the match. This time, three straight sort of serving yeah. volleys Dude, gets yes. him out of trouble. Exactly, Jimmy. And even there, I mean, even with Carreño Busta playing way into the alley, still Shapovalov able to carve that ball. This would be a huge hole for Shapovalov. Love 40 down, two double faults to really allow the oh. lead. It was a bad 
rhythm on that serve from Shapovalov. So I don't know if that's going to be in his head at all for this second serve. Yeah. yeah. A lot of times when you sort of miss hit a first serve and you've already double faulted a couple times in a game, that makes that second serve a little scary. And the old demons. That's the story of today. Zverev earlier with his double faults coming back because of the pressure of maybe being able to us open. And Shapovalov had double faulting issues last year for some time. Oh! And all of a sudden, this game is coming back. Part of the reason he's challenging is because he doesn't want to get a second serve. Or maybe it was good. It's maybe pretty it was close. Good. Yeah. Boost is, it's close. Let's see how close. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you, Shapovalov tonight is eagle -eyed. He is rolling the dice in two things, winning big time, and of course, net points and challenges. Yeah. He missed one challenge in this set, but otherwise, I, I'm going to say five or six, he's been right. in Karenia boost his career he's and faced someone Jeff that Jeff gave him three double faults in the game and he still didn't break serve but that's what's happened this game and Shapovalov a point away from, from holding serve anyway a couple of good volleys that one a little fortunate clear the net Great serve yeah. again. The yeah. Ukrainian yeah. booster knows it's coming and he's still is pretty helpless. And Four games on. It's Second what set. we were talking about yesterday a little bit that Medvedev playing Francis Tiafo and Medvedev standing so far behind the baseline on the serve. Why not just keep going with that slow, wide one over and over again? And Chevrolet in that game, once he got down 40 love, every single serve he had court was short and wide. And he won every single point. So Karenia Boost is going to have to make an adjustment. At least on the big points, recognize that's what's coming. Maybe move in and cut off the angle. As it is, a, an amazing hole to serve for Shabavala yes. with three double faults. That might make this game difficult for Karenia Boost. And we'll see how he handles that disappointment. This is the vaunted hangover. Not since time. Yeah. Carreño Busta has had nine break points in this set. Each man has broken twice. You had nine break points in a set. You said you get gifted four double faults in a set. You think you're going to win the set? Normally, yes. Shevala so mad at himself because he did have sort of a mid-court forehand in that rally and he just put it back in play instead of what he's been doing, taking that one kind of early and coming in behind and applying some pressure. Six forehand winners for Karenia Busta. That, by the way, counted as a net point. He's <laughs> two of six on the match. He did hit an approach shot. I'm not sure I remember him hitting. I'm not sure I remember him hitting a volley yet in this match. Shapovalov challenge. He's got the mark in his mind at least. Let's see if it's the right mark. Second serve. Had, wow. it all, had it all the way. Wow. I'll tell you, man, his eyesight tonight is that's one millimeter. Good. <laughs> that's too good. But that 
Now, your shot ball, you have this beautiful challenge. 40 15. You're right by a millimeter. So the guy has to toss in a 66 mile an hour second serve and he wins the play. That's happened a couple of times to Shapovalov in this match where he hasn't done enough with those second serve returns. He's got to expect that second serve to not have much on it. Doesn't have to stand this far back for a 66 mile an hour second serve. Go ahead and move in and hit it with some pace. I don't like he did there. He did step in and with some pace. Yeah, and it was a better second serve. Carreño Busta leads five games. Carreño Busta, he gets the hold sweep, avoids that uh, that hangover game. Well, inside Arthur Ashe Stadium, and really now the impact of 2020 has really settled in on the grounds. It's very few players remaining. The practice court's pretty empty. That are here being encouraged to come and actually watch the matches in Ash Stadium. I went down and watched a set of Osaka down in the court, which we never get a chance to do in our normal lives. And there were lines person sitting and some USTA staff. All, everyone taking advantage of an opportunity that no one would have to sit three rows off the court to watch these players play. Feels like he's played this entire set uphill, Jimmy. <laughs> he doesn't want to do it in this game. That's why. Remember, we talked about that first set when he only had one more unforced error than Carreño Busta. He's got three times the unforced errors of Carreño Busta in this set. Oh! Five double faults in this set for Shapovalov. Four in the last game and a half. He, is, he didn't have a double fault in the first set. He played a pretty clean first set. Served well. He did. Six aces, no doubles. Karenya Boost at some point has to learn if he's in trouble, that's the serve he's going to hit. And if I stand in the fence and he's serving and volleying, he wins the point. Thank goodness someone's finally figured out these guys that stand on the fence. If you serve volley, all you got to do is touch the first ball off the return, dump it into the open court. All he had sort of a couple of forehands that he could have taken control of the point with, and he didn't. He chose to just put it back and play down the center. Shapovalov is hoping to coax another unforced error out of him. I understand he has made 19 unforced errors in the set, Shapovalov, but it doesn't seem to make them when they're the most important. So.
This is Oshapovals feeling a little extra pressure on his first serve right now because two things are happening. One, he's losing second serve points, and two, he's double faulting. Time shots. Starting with the second yeah. serve. For a yeah. guy that's been double faulting, he kind of hit that second serve right off both lines almost. As we'll go to the old faithful serve out wide, serve volley. Oh. 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 You see Crania Busta came in a bit there. Yeah, a little. He did. Yeah. Try. He's gonna have to. See if he does it again. Yeah, second serve. I don't think Shavalov takes as many risks with that serve out wide. If he does, he throws in the double. Right. Deuce. Because most of his feels like most of his ad court second serves have been right into the middle. They safe, have safe. Yeah. They have. That one he looked like he might have been trying to cut it. Yes. But he's lost the rhythm on second serve, so this is he wins this match and he's playing Zverev, it's going to be double fault fast trying to make the finals. <laughs> going to start serving underhand. Oh. Right now, Shapovalov is trying to stay in the set here. He's flirting. Flirting with a bad ending. Say his timing of that's been good tonight. Incredible. Inventor. Yeah. Yeah. That ball there, cool. he was in. He's done that a number of times. This yeah. is a pretty good little chip, but quite low enough. Far back. This was an easy pass. It was the right idea, but he was behind the baseline when he hit it, so he couldn't get in enough. And that cross court angle for him was actually a pretty easy shot for Karenja Busa to make. And the serve is gone. He's been flirting with this, and now we've arrived and at the moment. Just set point. There's a first serves in play at 55%, and second serves one in this set, just 25% for Shapovalov. <laughs> yeah. We both had the same. Karenia Boost had yes. the same reaction yes. as we all did, because I Whoa. think that was going to be in had it not clipped the tape. Uh, he's 
doing the tennis version of Wolenda right here. Five balls all in the second set. Five all. Kinda has no business, does he, being in this no. set still. And now play. But he has you know, a couple of at that play. This set, he's been in that 23 times in this set. 115 at this set. That's that's what's keeping that's a stand him. Standout. Yeah. That's what's keeping him in it. Big moments he's used getting up to the net and it's worked for him. Fifteen love. You have that in the bag. Why are you never using it? Though? First ace. So he had two serves in that 120 range. One was 123, that one was 121. He won both points. In a while. Seventy dollars. One of a better first serve from Karenia Busta. His percentage has stayed up 73%. Again. Well, he holds Karenia. 15. So as the set's gone Karenia along, the, six games to the serving off. question has Second been set, on Shapovalov. A little Shabalala. major question mark in this next game. So in this set, Shapovalov has served 47 points, Jimmy. Karenia Busta, 31, and Karenia Busta's already served one extra game. I mean, yeah, <laughs> that, that gives you that, an idea. It does. If Shapovalov wins this set, He's stolen the set, and that yes. is tough to overcome if you're yes. Karenia Busta. He'd be down two sets of love knowing he had no business losing the second set. And I feel like this, it feels like every service game for Shapovalov, and it's been in a lot during this Open, he is love 15. And now love 30. He's been yeah. using that pattern over and over again. Love Serve wide, take a first forehand down the line yeah. and come in. I feel like yeah. he should go behind him a couple times to the backhand and come in. Sort of get green. It's a safer shot. Oh. I don't know if the... Uh, Keep the analytics on, this, on that first point. And the success rate in holding serve when that happens. Because, it, again, in baseball, they did forever. The difference, between, the biggest difference is in an at bat's ball one versus strike one, the first pitch. Mm -hmm. How often it dictates the rest of an at bat. Players started yeah. looking nervous a yes. little bit, and that was an example of it from Karenio Busta. That was his strokes, technically pretty sound. 
don't expect him to sort of shank one like that. Off a nothing ball from Shabobala. That was the first set. How many serves like that did Shabobala hit the first set? Yeah, it did. It served at 80% in the first set. Yeah. Shapovalov gets the good fortune off the Six tape. Games all and second set. The set goes to tie a tiebreak. Both players have received one additional challenge. Probably, uh, well, I should say, Jimmy, do you think there's a relevance that when they played in this Open three years ago, Shapovalov is a qualifier, three tiebreak sets, all won by Karina Busta? I mean, by all rights, Karina Busta should win this tiebreak the way this set has gone. He's been the one that's had a little bit easier time holding serve. Every service game for Shapovalov was a battle. So, possibly, but you just get the feeling that Shapovalov's going to steal this set. The way this set has gone, it's he just hit a left court winner. He's done that a couple of times when he's needed points. from Karina Busta, and he is strong mentally. Karina Busta, so. To be able to sort of just put everything behind him and play this tie break. Mr. Chapovalov challenging the call. That was far bad. Sideline ball was called out. I almost don't think Fergus should have let him challenge. He kept asking mom how it was, yeah. how it was, how it was. She finally must have said challenge. Yeah, he's got, he has a pocket full so he can afford that. Second yeah, serve. but that's not going to help his second serve right now. That was no. a bad call by mom. It was a bad call all the way around. We'll see how the second serve goes. <laughs> I understand both Baseline players have, again, down. they have a bunch in their pockets, so why not get a little breather at the end of a point? Especially that one was a pretty yeah. long rally and surprising in some ways that if this is long, which it's not. Oh. Oh, return replay the point. Ah, how about that? One millimeter out. One zero. Helped Shapovalov a few minutes ago, and that's about a millimeter in. Help Karenia Busta. Jimmy, I, I, you hit on something that I think Mr. last Shepard night we were watching, wondering. Remaining. Tonight you see that Shabbat clearly has a game plan. 
Yes. And, he's, that, that, and he's sticking with that. Yes, and it's that serve. And the only yeah. time he doesn't hit that serve is when he's... Two, one. When he's up in the game and he feels as okay, I gotta let him think Jump that over. sometimes I'm serving T. But anytime it's break point or 1530 or in the zero one in a tie break, he's going out wide. Karenia boost his strength that time. His Shapovalov got about 10 Two forehands that Karenia boosted hit balls right here inside the service line or right around the service line. And Shapovalov never really took a ball early. He just was happy to rally. That's not what's sort of been winning for him. He's taking those short balls normally with his forehand, stepping up and punishing Karenia boost at that time. Karenia boost to the take advantage eventually. Oh! oh good. Too good. How about that? Was back to back backhand Three, winners. Two. Karenia boost. Oh. Open the court. Step in, but still he can't approach from behind the baseline. Or he's lost the point most of the time. If he's one step further in, he's behind the baseline there. He tries to sprint in, but he's he knows he's got angles, he's got a cover, he's in all kinds of trouble. Even with that super long arm of his. Oh, Carreño Busta finally gets one Four, back. Carreño Busta. He's won three straight points, two on his serve. Physical points in there. He came up with a heck a, of a return. Exactly. That's yeah. a sick return. Yeah. He's been making that return, but it's been easy picking for Shapovalov up at the net. That was the first return off that serve with Shapovalov serving a volley, where it actually was a difficult dig for Shapovalov. He couldn't come up with the volley. So it's, uh, I think, fairly clear to all that this tie break is. Vital for Carreño Busta. He now has the mini break. seen over the years Shapovalov <laughs> missed so many volleys that when I saw him going I know. after that I one I, I was thinking uh, I would, I'm with you I shivered for a second but it found the court again this is where for, if you're Karenia boosting wouldn't it be nice to get a couple free points by popping in the 120 plus serve and seeing if he can Five. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Got a new uh, Sometimes you think like a player. There he is. I'm shocked. <laughs> I mean, but it's funny because he doesn't use it. He has that serve and he doesn't yeah. ever, almost never uses it. He finally did it on a big point. I don't know if he'll have the guts to do it again. He might just say, let me spin this one in. I was, ooh, that was risky. <laughs> See, and there you go. I mean, that, those are two pretty easy Six points on serve for Karenji Busta. Now he yeah. lines them up. Yeah, he did just spin that one in, the second one. He hit a 104, but it was placed well enough. 
set him up for that forehand. So he finally got a little aggressive and it worked. Yeah. He's been able to get on the verge of winning the set. Oh, And he crossed the line. I don't know for sure because it seems as though Shabovov just keeps Six four. away. Karenja Busta. Karenja Busta did have a set point in the 4 5 service game of Shabovov. So this now will be number three. The one right. now, where it what is correct? Yeah, exactly. Does he, does gonna, he uncork exactly. the bolt or does, does he? he decide, you know what? I'm I gotta play it safe, I gotta go into my, what my favorite thing is, which is don't make an error. He's, he's challenging Shapovalov, but he's also walking off the court. No, he thinks it's in. It must be. Yeah. And that was Karenia Pusta finally got brave. A couple of big How serves. About that? Yeah. yeah, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Second well, he didn't think it's in. Karenia Pusta served his way to win that set. To both have the tank to play Ooh, another two and a half to three hours, perhaps. Well, I'm certain Karenia Pusta is. And I think Shapovalov does as well. I think he's in pretty good shape. Again, he's only 21. Shapovalov. Love 15. Uh, two nights ago here played the night match and raised, really raised the level of his game in the third set after this scenario, splitting sets uh, with Goffin. Because Karenia Busta was, was defending with slow, high, but reasonable depth. So forcing Shapovalov to produce all the pace himself, he did it pretty well. And by the way, Shapovalov started another game at Love 15. You're right. I think you might have to start this stat in your head to start writing them down because it does seem like what we need. An error, isn't it? Job of all. 30 15. He gets that first point of the game. Pretty early in the point, too, will make an unforced error. Or he could have really gone right at Shapovalov mm -hmm. and he tried to just sort of massage it around him. And really, Shapovalov should have made the volley. How are you? Did you hit the Adam ball very well? No, I didn't. I, I, I was too nice <laughs> no, for the most part. That shocks part. me. 
except once I played one guy named Mark Dixon I went after him every shot only because he got an inch from the net yeah, yeah, yeah. first game third set. Well, that's uh, something that I, at least I've been impressed, Jimmy, watching Shapovala here. For a 21 year old, is that, you know, he's had some bad sets, bad moments like he just had here, and he's rebounded. He seems to have amnesia down pat. He does, yeah. He has to because he's got that six double fault set in his head. And that, that kind of thing can start to cause problems. Mistaken. That's the first time Shapovalov started a set and held serve in his first service game. First two sets, lost his first game. 51. Set of Karenia Busta, by the way, again, the turn of favor. First double fault for Karenia Busta. Well, he hasn't had a game like this yet. He's only put one first serve. That's nice yeah, yeah. and done. Got Shapovalov, good game for Karenia Busta, given one game only for two first serves. Yeah. He's kind of dominating the rally once the rally's in play. Shapovalov's doing a good job with serve, plus one, maybe serve and volley. It's one of the rally. Famous 
goes to Karenia Booster. That, yeah. You get a sense of Second why Shapovalov has struggled with Karenia Busta when you sort of see those type of numbers. I mean, Shapovalov on second serve for the match, 8 of 27. Karenia Busta, 11 of 20. All right, Shapo. Love 15. Gets to his customary love 15 on double fault 7. On a unforced air. Yeah, that's... Does Karenio Busta know how to return serve from a little further in? Just what would happen if he took away this wide slide? Because you know it's coming at love 15. I mean, he's going to get away with it because it's second serve. And he's done that well. Gosh, he has. He's done that well. And again, it's a pattern, just as you know, the first serve in the ag court's going out to the sideline. The second one's going to kind of sit right in the middle there. It's going to sit in the middle, and it yeah. seemed to, for whatever reason, it surprised Karenia Busta, which surprises me. You're right. If you know that that's where he's hit yes. every second serve, you think Karenia Busta would be up on that as well. One thing about Shapovalov is it's flashy. It's fun sort of to watch. Here he is because it's so loose and so explosive with some of those shots. And from halfway between the service line and the baseline is the full swinging volley for a winner. Enough to just, bring yeah. it down and right the court. far sideline. No yeah, business going in if it did. It got a lot closer than it looked like it was gonna be when it left his racket. Yeah, it's good. It went in. 40 50. Excellently shanked. Shabavala is just, he's had one of his, this has to be about as good a challenge night as you could ask for. His mom is in charge of the Hawkeye, so she's. He's putting up the pictures. Forty today. We just saw Karenia Busta hold, playing behind his second serve. Shapovalov start a little bit the same way here. Good Once enough. So you ball on three. To start the third, I think we're going to be here a lot. Used a shockingly big serve to close out a tie break and win the second. Shemovalov has 15. wobbled on his serve after the first set. In fact, really a Exceptional effort by Shapovalov just to get to a tiebreak. 
It's set to. This pattern developed about midway through the second set. And Shapovalov would like to put an end to it. That's Karenia Boost is having fairly easy service games. Karenia Boost. Maybe there, it's a serve in one, Jimmy, and yeah. it's a 103 mile an hour serve. Yeah, but it's wide. Yeah. And so, and they took the next ball early, used the pace of Shabavalov against him. Funny thing is, he's come to net now 11 times. Yeah. I really remember the yeah. volley. Yeah. And Karenia Busta. Two games all example. Just third set. Easy hold for him. 2017 was the year he made the singles run to the semis. In 2016, he played for the doubles championship. Wow. With Garcia Lopez. Lost to Jamie Murray and Bruno Suarez. So he had to hit at least one volley to make the finals here. Doubles. Lindsay Gowan is doing a great job researching for us. And um, she's going to find this out because that's just, that's three straight Love 15s to start this set. Well, we just had a graphic that came up yeah. four of the last five yeah. games he started Love yeah. 15. So now it's five of the last six. The other thing is they're all with an unforced error, it seems. Double fault or first ball miss. Now he'll serve wide. <laughs> yeah, I, I've seen this movie before. And now he'll probably hit a second serve right in the middle of the box or slightly to the forehand. So that's where Karina Busta needs to take advantage. Oh, oh, he went, oh. went wide, but Love missed, missed the forehand. And in my, uh, the analogy I was talking, Jimmy, to you about, about baseball, the pitchers that survive starting too many counts ball one, you better be awfully good. <laughs> You better yeah. have you better have the ability to strike guys out. Shapovalov oh. had the first serve working very well in the first set, but not so since. well since. We've seen this movie as well. Uh, twice he had to catch tosses and then double faulted after. Left the second song. Our producer Harold Heck told me that it's been almost twice as long for Shapovalov service games as Karina Busta. <laughs> Good to have long arms. That was pretty fortunate for Shapovalov all the way through that. Fifteen thirty. He had a nice forehand return, but it clipped the top of the tape, so it set up. And that was a great stretch volley from Shapovalov to stay in the point. Errors are just exploding for Shapovalov as this match goes on. The first set, I remember maybe only 10. 
He's got 45 on forced air now. Set and a half from those 10. But he keeps doing that Boy, when he needs it on break points. So I'm sitting here thinking as we've been talking, he needs to get his first serve back to, I would think, to have a real shot to win this thing. Yeah. And I he agree. has his first serve there on a double break point down. He and he'll probably yeah. get this one as well because it seems like he's been serving volleying when he's down break point and it helps his serve. Maybe it gets the toss in a little further or something. He didn't serve in volley there, but he, he was almost serving volley. He, was, he took a step inside and the return came back short enough that he was already up there. Starting to Got it. Be getting in Karini Busta's head a little bit. Three of 15 on break chances, yeah. and I don't know what it. I, it seems like oh for the last 12 or so. I mean, and Karini Busta. Randy Boost has got to take away the wide one here. He's just he's been better the last few, hasn't he? Yeah, but he's, boost it? Yeah. he has, but he's got it. He's just got it. I'm wondering. I'm taking it away. I'm going to I'm yeah. moving over further. Or I'm taking it earlier, I'm, whatever it is, and make sure I'll beat him with a T serve. I wonder if it comes right here. Yeah. All right, he, I got you. He beat him with the T yeah, serve. Yeah, so I say, yeah. It was just. The last three or four, you could see Karenia Busta had a better play on those wide ones. Mm -hmm. Not always as foolish as I look, Jim. You know me a long time now. Yeah, you've been around the game for a <laughs> few weeks. Advantage, Corrine Busta. Let's go with T again. He's going in trouble because he's got a second yes. serve to deal with. Oh, that's out. Get Mr. Shapovalov uh, challenging the call. Immediate challenge Left there. Near sideline. Ball was called out. How many lives does Chef Balov have? Immediate challenge, but it is out, and there is the break. Again, Carreño Busta. So Carreño Busta gets the break. Carreño Busta leads. The Three lead games. in the third set. Two, two. Third set. Third set. One set all. Yeah, no, I agree. I thought it felt as though early on that maybe it's just the power and the shot making from Shapovalov is going to be enough, but it slowly deteriorated for him. 15 long now it's 123. That's the biggest serve we've seen from Karenia Busta. He's starting to get a little bit of swagger all of a sudden. Of all the things, he's the guy getting free points in easy service games. Fifteen on wall.
So oh. look at Craig Yabusta right now. Tell me what was it like when you looked across the net in the third set and saw your opponent. It doesn't look like he's worked very hard. No, it wasn't enjoyable. Yeah. No, no question about me. that. Craig Yabusta looks pretty composed and you know, doesn't look like it's been overly taxing. I've never seen this. He's changing shirts in the middle of the game. Now we saw George today. He's had all kinds of firsts. Going off in the middle, whatever he felt like, it's just changing the shirt. Pattern, you would think Shapovalov's forehands at Granny Boost, his backhand should be advantage. Lefty should be advantage Shapovalov, but just as often as not, yeah. that little cross court flat sort of backhand has caused some damage. Yeah, got any boost? I would agree. It's a great point you made, Jimmy. Can, and I I agree. Agree. Can, two, two, take his four. can he change direction? Can he go up the line with it? He can, and he does. Should he, he, make, should he start trying? I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a believer in cross court in general. Because down the line, when you're going down the line, you're going to be opening yourself up to a long run if you haven't hit a near win. So that's the danger of going down the line, and it's a lower percentage shot. There's his play. Go that's cross court and come in, right? Exactly. That's the play. Open the court when he boosts his way back there. And Shapovalov has covered the net well. His arms are long. He's He's got a new dimension to his game. He's just got to figure out how to hit second serves again. Yes. I'm sorry, I'm having an arrhythmic moment here. It's 15 love. Oh my goodness, that's the end of that streak. He should probably hold serve at love now in this game. It's going to be, this game's going to be a breeze. He's not accustomed to a lead. Fifteen. Oh, maybe not. Forced air is continuing to pile up for Shapovalov. This feels, doesn't it, that if he doesn't get that first strike, serve and first ball, where he's in complete control of the pointer and actually coming to the net, then Shapovalov is in trouble. Three, four shots in all of a sudden. 14. Boost to seems to be winning the points. So. I, I just feel like this entire match, Shapovalov has been served. I'm just sitting here I'm thinking it's two hours and whatever, two and a half <laughs> hours. Shapovalov has been serving for two hours and 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. and that's right. not a good thing.
nice little mix in there by Carino Boost. Yeah, I like that. Dude. And boy, does he have control of his backhand, doesn't he? He's yes. sort of moved up. That wasn't that easy of a shot that he just hit. There wasn't that much room. It was pretty good. Get decent drop shot reply. And he just held it and waited. Kind of froze Shapovalov in the last minute swing. 112 points that Shapovalov has served in the match so far. 113 now to 70. And and right. It does seem as though Shapovalov has been the one serving. So the set about to go unless Shapovalov can play this point. So one of these, again, you lived it, Jimmy. I'm sure you have these nights that you get puzzled. His best serves in the last hour have been on when he's down break point. Those are his best serves. I, I, ever since the first set, yeah. that's the only first serves it seems as though he makes is when he gets himself in trouble. Of a lefty, yes. I gotta say. The but at least he's but he's making him in, in the crucial moments. Yes. Boy, make him in the first point of the game. Yeah. <laughs> first point of the game's in the deuce court, so I guess he doesn't have <laughs> as comfortable a serve. Yeah, much better than that three. serve. In the answer, he sense. has One he handled it down the line well yeah. a couple of times. <laughs> Had all kinds of momentum. He felt as though he was sort of on the verge of running away with this third set. Shapovalov can string together a couple of decent points here to start this game. Who knows? He might be able to just get right back on serve. And this is the fourth service game. Carreño Busta in set three. He's lost three points. Gotta believe there's gonna be one service game where he gets, you know, misses a few more first serves, gives an opportunity for Shapovalov. It's only perhaps two more chances. Fifteen. That was close. just caught. That just caught. For but it must, have, it must have caught because Karani Busta didn't challenge. He was standing right over it. It's partly Karani Busta just so safe with his serve. I mean, this game he's thrown he's thrown three serves at about 101, 102, 103 miles an hour, right to the backhand. They're not even placed particularly well. Shapovalov should think about running around this one and ripping a forehand. Has break two break points. This what an opportunity for Shapovalov here to crush Karina Busta's soul. At least uh, for the match four of eight. Oh. Great And how 
much of a dagger could that be? Four games old. You feel like for the entire Sorry, last Sam. hour we've been saying break points. Carreño boosts them. One luck for Shapovalov, but he cashes in for all. Yep, that's the story of this match so far is just who's winning the big points. And for the most part, it's Shapovalov. He's winning important points, but he's struggling early in games. So he's giving all kinds of chances to Carreño boost to see if he can get off to a quick start in this service game. Which should Shapovalov have played the Karenia boost to forehand? I mean, should judging he... judging by that point, you'd say yes, well, yeah, absolutely. But I mean, just but judging from the, what we've seen for two plus hours. I mean, yes, but it's hard because his natural instinct is. Yeah, the cross If court. my forehand's going right. to someone's backhand, my forehand's going to be better. So I like that pattern. That he loves. So that's why I'm asking, am I off? Because I think Carino Boost is winning that matchup tonight. Am I wrong? No, I no, I don't think you're you're wrong. I think it's even. Okay. Maybe slightly better for Carino Boost. I had to channel 49. the best film of the last 25 years there. You've seen Big Lebowski, right? Oh, yeah. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't. John, John Goodman. <laughs> anyway. It is a classic movie, but I don't remember all the lines. Yeah. So far. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Shabab 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 How about that? Well, Shabab 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 five games to four third set. Pair of games. One set of oh. Could that start a tilt back to Shapovalov? Let's see. About 15 minutes ago or so, I think I said Karenia Busta had the lead. <laughs> and now look where we are. Now he has a must hold. Play. Allowed Shapovalov to swing freely. He's made a ton of unforced errors, 50, but he's also got 47 winners because of how Karina boosts it. Just sort of serves the ball up in the middle of the court. All of a sudden, it's all Shapo for the last 10 points. Challenging the call. Okay, that was uh, an immediate right challenge by time. the ball was called back. Shapovalov did not look at at mom, mom no. at all. Just immediately shot his arm up. Felt good to him. And yes. it was wrong. Felt. The feel was wrong. Felt good, looked bad. 30 15. And now one challenge left.
Force Team 15. Good enough to run around for Mr. Shabotov has one challenge strange, remaining. strange, isn't it, when he misses at times, he doesn't mess around. I mean, that backhand was close that he missed, but that forehand now, 20 feet long. It's amazing how, I guess because he takes such a big wind-up, when it gets away from him, it goes. Yeah, yeah. Well, that uh, shot of didn't do enough there to put pressure on Carreño Busta. Winds up being an easy hole five for game the game Spaniard, ball. five all. Third set. Pressure back on Chapovalov right now, and we'll see how he handles it because he just played a pretty loose game. That was another game of Carreño Busta just thrown in 101 mile an hour serves. Right in the middle of the box. Well, there's only been two double faults in this set for Shapovalov. I still kind of don't trust his second serve right now. He trusts it. I don't know. That one looked pretty safe, didn't yeah. it? It looked pretty yeah. comfortable. So maybe he's found the rhythm again. But I, I feel as though it's, he's one double fault away from two or three happening in quick succession because it gets in his head. For instance, that sir was terribly mistimed. He hit it right at the top of the racket in the middle of the net. So often he's double faulted after a missed time serve like that. Oh. 15 on. Shapovalov has broken the love 15 rhythm for a bit here. And again, the, those numbers all night long will be both columns. Of Lean toward Chapovalov. The, the numbers will be higher, you're yeah. right, for both winners and unforced errors. He's definitely willing to take risks. surprised at how much power Shapovalov has gotten on the forehand when he's sort of running off to his right, running around his backhand, still backing up, still backing away, and without much of a swing, comes off his racket with a ton of pace. Forty-fifteen. Uh, again, flashback moment to the first set. Look, he had a couple of double faults early in the set, and now they've they've stopped. Shake that off if he can regain, get more of the service rhythms he had in the first set. Yeah. It's going to be much better for him if this goes to a tiebreak. Never won the tie break on hard court against Karenia Busta. He's lost four, all of, all of them here at the U.S. Open. But he did beat him the one match he beat Karenia Busta on clay. He won a tie break. Oh. 
Three straight second serve points. She's lost the ball. Shapovalov, so we go from 40 15 to break point. Feels as though Karenia Boost is starting to recognize that Shapovalov's second serve. He feels more comfortable kicking it to the forehand. So even though he's a lefty, that's where his second serves have been going, and Karenia Boost at that time took advantage. He recognized it. Uh, it's, 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 it's amazing. Great point. There you go. 127. His biggest. Fastest. Of, yeah. <laughs> Amazing. 14th ace. Four of 19 on break chances for Karenia Busta. And as I said, early on, he, he got in three, three of those breaks with very few break chances. It's been chances galore, but no conversions really for Karenia Busta. Starting midway through the second set. Set's coming up. Well, does he share? <laughs> Thank you. Right, here we go. Karenia Busta again has to hold. Did his last game very easily. That's frustrating for Shapovalov because he wasn't trying to do anything. Just slice the ball back in play. Instead, it's an error, and he's making it relatively comfortable for Karenia Busta to force a tie break. The last two service games just zero. These two have played. Of shot Karina Booster. Yeah. These two have played six sets now. The sixth set they've played against each other at, at the U.S. Open on this court. Mm -hmm. And they have played five tie breaks. Five tie breaks. Four of them have gone to Karina Busta already. Here's the fifth one. He, he does seem to be the one that has the advantage just from the standpoint of he's putting far more pressure on Shapovalov's serve. Yeah. One oh, zero. Shapovalov. Got any boost. Losing his first point again. One game. One bad game by Karenia Busta. Cost him the set in regulation. Yeah. In the last two service games, he just went through easily. 
Sort of that stat you were talking about earlier. He had three different games where he had break chances. Karenia Bluesdale only broke once. Shapovalov only one game. Concerning for Carreño Busta um, from the standpoint of most of the time if he just keeps the ball in play, Shapovalov will give him an error eventually. But Shapovalov has hit 51 winners. Mm -hmm. So if he strings a few of those together at the right time, he's going to win the set in the tie break. So you got to figure out how aggressive to be if you're Carreño Busta. Two one long can sound like a foolish question. Cut but he thinks about it. I certainly do. Who's this more important for? This time. I mean, oh, for the tiebreak. The tiebreak. It's, it's yeah. more important for Shabavala. I feel like. I feel like Carreño boost. Even if he loses his tiebreak, he's still here for the long haul, no matter what. He's going to keep plugging away. Shabavala. He's going to keep plugging away as well, but. He's been lucky to get the tie break since both the second and third set. There he goes big and he's starting Jimmy to put mix more tea in on he that ad court. 15 aces. 10, Ten double, double faults. Break. Yeah. Kind of defines the match. He's ending a lot of the points. Most of them. Two strong points there for Shapovalov. I like that play for him. The first ball rip and Three come two. in. It's Shapovalov. been difficult for Karenia Boost to deal with. He hasn't done that much toward the latter stages of this set. It's the net for the match 57 well, times. But look at this set, Jimmy. 15 to 17. Yeah, I mean, that's what's that's why Shapovalov's in the type. Yeah. There is a slight Federer thing with Karina Boost against. It just doesn't look like he's. Three hours doesn't, doesn't look like he's been out there three hours, right? He did change his socks, so his feet yes. are sweating. Yes. Yeah. Shapovalov may serve right right yeah. here. Make two, two points. Exactly. Make two first serves right here. Steal this set.
discrepancy for Shapovalov serve is just stark. In this set, 85% winning of first serve, 33 on second. And talk about that because he, he looked like yeah, he he trying to come in on the first shot. Yeah, and he, did he slip? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Rod. As though there was a stumble yeah. there. Yeah. Have to really lunge off balance and awkwardly. On the three hour mark. Carreño Busta. Six four. Now two set points. Well, amazing that the only time he seems to hit his serve is late in a tie break when you should be sort of extra nervous. Seven games to six. And he has to won two leads. tie breaks tonight. Two to one. Five in a row now against Shapovalov. And starting afresh in the fourth set with Karenia Boost to serve. Dennis told mom I need new shoes, so she's got a pair ready to go. He does move so well. He's actually could defend pretty well. You saw it in that point. It's almost as if Karenia Busta can't really hurt Shapovalov other than those unforced errors. Dirty luck. Feels like early stage of this set. Is going to be pretty important for Shapovalov. Yeah, his first service game. Yes. I think. As we've seen it, if Shapovalov can get to break point, he's actually converted those break points. This 30 all suddenly feels like a little bit of pressure on Karenia Busta. He's not accustomed to close service games lately. That's for sale to today. There he reached it and he pulled out one of his best shots, 120. Fifth ace. Surprised Carreño Boost hasn't worked a little harder on on serve. He's a big he's a big kid. He's six three or so. had a serve that was winning him three points, he'd be very tough to beat. He makes a lot of returns. He's he'd be in the Medvedev sort of yeah. area. Just think, I mean, Karenia Bustu will forever say for a brief period of time he was number 10 in the world. A top 
Ten player. Not many can say that. No, but he, I think if he gets a bigger yeah. serve, he could stay there a lot longer. Oh. All right, here we go. A series of average shots from both of those guys. <laughs> and that's it, Chapeau. <laughs> And ended with Karanya boosted and getting, worse than average. You are getting much nicer as the years <laughs> go by, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, well, this is the yeah, stat of the, there of the match, yeah. really. Oh, missed return. Mr. Shapovalov challenging the call. Shapovalov. Left baseline, the ball once called out. He knows that's a mistaken challenge. It's a frustration challenge. Yeah. Yeah. Duke. Mr. Shapovalov has two challenges remaining. As much as I like Fergus, he's mispronouncing. He is. And so we have to uh, explain that's why. As Dennis says, his own name, Shapovalov. To, to use them. Duke. This has been a sloppy game. He's made some unforced errors. It's his fourth of this set, first game. So the trail player here needs to cash in. Yes. of his shots to Shabavala's forehand, which is sort of the, the dangerous side, but I, I guess Karani boost his mind. It's the one that can misfire more often. But there's the danger side of it. it could and, be the of the and the forehand up the line. Yes. Helped out by the fact that it hits the tape and sits up. For Shapovala. 93 mile an hour forehand. Now the fourth break point of this game. You will look almost yeah. to me. Exactly. They obviously weren't. Shapovala played them, and then he ends up winning the game on the fourth break chance. And now 
as we've seen a couple of times in this match it's not finished yet he has to hold his serve. And if he does it will be uh, this is the lifeline. We're headed to a tie break. <laughs> <laughs> Winner to play Alexander Zverev. That'll On Friday. So the nice part is, well, actually, no, we're, it's now Wednesday, so they're only going to get a day off. Bob deposited the shoes. She's heading back to the coaching box. Well, maybe this will be a, another one that's similar to the first set where Shapovalov didn't make many unforced errors. Served at a very high percentage. Thirty long. Long. Second serve ace, three aces in the set so far, and three points. Discovers the serves. Two games to He does back up the break. Four cents. With four aces. I mean, strangest match. The USTA has done such a nice job of trying to create atmosphere all during this open, both on uh, Ash and in Armstrong. I'm going to make one suggestion. Shapovalov. Michael Fuhrer does a great job. He needs an after midnight take. It's a different sound. <laughs> the night crowds late in the night here, definitely a different level. You think they can pump it up a little uh, more? Different decibels. Yeah. A little rowdier. So well, we love it. <laughs> like all of a sudden. There's, yeah, there's no tennis claps in. 12 30 in the morning in this state. No, you're right about that. But it is just too love in the fourth, so let's wait to turn up the decibels to where yeah. somewhere in the fifth. Feels as though we're heading there already. First time. Just so streaky. The moment he's on a great streak. Already with 10 winners. And we're only at two love in this set. <laughs>
38 40. All to the forehand. Every serve's gone to the forehand, and Karenia Busta has been leaning for the lefty slider to the backhand all five times. Might as well keep going there. Let's see if we can serve just nothing but aces to the forehand. Yeah, thinking just like me, but now. <laughs> Second serve, he might not be quite so bold. Thirty-nine. You would think at least now Chapovalov has made Karenia boost to think. Well, was he answered? He answered the question about that wide serve. Yeah, the, the thing that's strange to me is Karenia Busta doesn't seem to be moving as well oh. in this set. He's sort of just walking over. He, he's being aced fairly easily, even a second serve that. One of those aces was a second serve. Oh, look that was the second one that was it. Yeah, ace. look, but look where he tee charged into the baseline. Yeah. Uh, not sure if hard to believe Karenia Boost is tired, but you know what? These guys missed a lot of tennis. Yeah. So. And that's the. Great, Jimmy. We all need to keep that in mind. It's not just the tennis played here. It's what they haven't played. And it's hard to recreate yeah. playing tennis with adrenaline. That takes more out of you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. he's just Jeff not, Jeff not, it's it's not just moving yeah. at the moment. And again, remember, why we're saying he Jeff played Jeff one Jeff set. Karina boosted in the last Fourth four set. days. So again, it would not be fatigued from here. It would be the 2020. Fatigue. Maybe, uh, you know, the other thing, it, it's past his bedtime. So once it got past midnight, Karenia Boost Wait a minute. Done. Turned into a pumpkin. You're telling me, you're telling me. How many years did you play Barcelona? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Thank you. This is when they eat dinner. First time I went to Bar I've never been to Barcelona for 10 years, but I went there with American football. Taken by a local to a nightclub about 1 a.m., and I commented how sparsely attended it was. He goes, "Oh yes, the evening hasn't started." <laughs> wow. Well, this 15. is one. Again, makes Shep Shapovalov in some sense a little bit of a tease because when he, when he gets in a run like this, you see shopping. Yes. Extraordinary. You do. But there is a little, I don't know if Karenia Boost is saying, you know yeah. what, I'm done with this set. He's not really putting forth full effort right now. 15 today. He's trying you, to end the points quickly. Well, yeah. It's, yeah it's, and, and you wonder because he was so. Energized at the end of the third set. It's true. Yeah, that's about half of his normal speed. Absolutely. Fifteen forty. Well, I. He's hitting a shot, and then you're right, he's not. Not even recovering. Not, not recovering, no. Oh. 
steady footing. Shapovalov on the verge of to doesn't care. He's done with this set. Wants to finish his set, get some treatment, and see how he feels in the fifth. Fifteen pound. And if you're Shapovalov, you didn't want to, have to sit and wait. You'd rather just finish it right here. Yeah. Which I'll be surprised if he loses a point. It'll have to be an unforced error or a slap shot winner from Karenia Busta. He also hasn't gone to the uh, to the shoes yet. They're still where mom left them. Well, these shoes have done pretty well in this set. Help! He's lost 10 yeah. points. 15 winners to three errors. Again, framed I mean, against an opponent that's not not running, not right. Yeah. Forty nine. Sets coming up. Shapovalo, uh, sets have not been kind to, to Carreño Busta. And uh, on top of that, we're going to get a timeout for medical. I remember Vavrinka had a good one. 29 sound. and 22, Vavrinka. Novak Djokovic, career five set record, 31 and 10. That's sick. Yeah, that is. Fifteen clock. And so the other obvious point here for Carreño Busta was to get a little time out that he hopes cooled off a red hot shot of olive. Fifteen all. Excellent stuff. Sort of almost sending a message, Karina. He's here to play the fifth set. Shapovalov played a great point there. Back's a lot better now. The ball was called in. You insinuating a little no, gamesmanship? No, I'm, I'm absolutely praising the work of the physics. Yes, clearly. Yes. Very strong.
seconds. Yeah, yeah. got any minutes. First catch, well the way final out. set. To step back again after three hours and almost 40 minutes in this U.S. Open that is so different in so many ways, and now the men's field, seven players alive as of this moment. You look at a Carreño Busta who briefly cracked the top 10 in the world. There's a young dude at 21 who's still got a lot of rope ahead of him, but it's been a long time since we've had a run in men's tennis that first timers have been able to really have a shot. We have went through it just before Federer's arrival. Yeah, 2003, there was no oh, left. Yeah. I mean, if you think and go back to 2000, and Magnus Norman played for the Roland Garros yeah. title. Albert Costa got a one shot and cashed in. Tommy Johansson. Exactly. Nicely done by Shapovalov. Juan Carlos Ferrero here and at Roland Garros. 15 Did that remember? Martin Verkirk oh my played for the French Open title. Gaston Gaudio won it. Over Guillermo Coria. And not Rafa's first Roland Garros title. He beat Mariano Puerta, who was cheating. Yes. Got caught, but made a final. And then that's those, about it. That's it. I'm that's saying, but that, that was like, and then suddenly the the big three get in here with Murray, Bavrinka, etc. Now Bandian played for the Wimbledon Championship. Thirty nine. Walked out to play the Wimbledon Championship match, having never played a match on center court. That's how unlikely it was wow. that he would make the final. Forty fifteen. So, Jimmy, where do you stand on the uh, finish line question? One game all. There, of course, we're here in the six round. all tie break. You mean, where do I feel yeah, like where the do you tournament come down should? On, on the four one different finish, four yeah. different, well, three finish lines and one no finish line, should, to be accurate. Um, What's your sense? I guess I, I like the tie break right at six all. Go ahead okay. and do it just like the US Open does. Right baseline. There the is no worse calling. feeling than losing a tiebreak fifth set. You've been out there grinding away for four hours plus, and it comes down to a shot or two. Good challenge again. Love Chad Ball has a great challenge record tonight. Great boost has got that hop back in his step. He does, but he's allowed Chapovalov to. Confidence. He's not making as many errors, 15. obviously, as he was. Still has 68 for the match, but only a handful in the last fourth set, obviously, only a handful of points played. Finally 
seen a volley wow. and came up wow. with a beauty. Did he ever? And you know, Jim, the other uh, addendum to that point is all the years I've been here, I have never once heard a player say publicly that it was unfair that they lost a match in fifth set tiebreaker. Yeah, it's I've fair. never heard a player complain and say this is not right. We should yeah. play to the death. Yeah. Fourteen fifty. After watching it for last year, I like the Wimbledon model myself. It's a, it's like extra time in soccer. Yeah, that's true. It's like true. a sixth. There's a sixth set, and then we, as Djokovic and Federer did, then we have a tiebreak. Hey. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. is back. So two two leads two games to one. Final set. We know it'll go to a tie break here at 6 0. The score line tells you it is bizarre. That fourth set was sort of an outlier. Karina boosted it in play. Got a little medical treatment and now is back to looking closer to his norm. And let's see if that affects Shapovalov at all. It's difficult mentally for Shapovalov because he would have recognized Karina Boostic wasn't moving properly. Help! 15 lump. It's a surprising error to me from Karina Boosted. That far back, right in the wheelhouse. Guy that likes to play sort of a conservative brand of tennis. You gotta believe he's gonna make that return. Oh. 30 lump. Remember for a stretch here where Shapovalov couldn't win a first point on yes. the service game? That's Ed. not been the case recently. Well, it is something we talked about a few hours ago. His first serve has come back more. It was really, he played the second and third sets without it. Yeah. Thirty fifteen. Of so streaky, isn't he? He's played very well for about a for now we're 45 minutes, but you still get a little worried. That's, that's solid. That is really solid. 40, 50. Jimmy, your, your points. I'm standing because I, I, I would. I'm sitting here thinking the one thing he can't afford to have happen is to get back the second serve problem. Right. Because it's gone away again. And the unforced error problem right. for the moment's gone away. He's playing longer points and not making those rash of unforced errors that he did in the second and third set. New balls, please. Three months ago. Yeah. Well, there have been things that have been touched Two on. Shapovalov. Final Kind of reflects who he is. He's had some crazy highs in this match. He's had some bad lows. Mm -hmm. The crazy highs, the net plays, but perhaps the craziest high. Well, that's stayed throughout. Yeah. He's been pretty solid throughout in the net stuff. 50 of 66 points when he's come in. USOpen.org. If you want to get a hold of a lot of the numbers that we see, perhaps even more.
Love 15. Uh, I do empathize right now with the players from the standpoint they put out such effort, both of them. And this is when you'd have probably 2,000 people here right now, mm -hmm. and they would sound like 20,000. Yeah, they would. That and again, a different decibel level. <laughs> It'll be like a Davis Cup match. 15 all. Even for these two? Yeah. Yeah, now we're in the quarterfinals, and I think. Listen, 2,000 people that would stay here till 1 in the morning are here for a reason. Amen. Yeah. To be part of it. Yeah. Best moment that I've ever witnessed in this stadium was the 2001 quarterfinal, Sampras Agassi. Four sets, all four tie breaks, and a level of tennis from both that was just immense. So few errors. And this 40, 50. obviously was 20 because it was Sampras and Agassi. There were 23,000 here. And before, when the players came out to play the fourth set tie break, they gave a standing ovation before the tie break started. Man, that's awesome. Crowd, it's the best moment I've ever seen in the stadium. Yeah, Torreño yeah. Gusto. Torreño Gusto leaves another game to two, two. final set. Tie break scar tissue. All right, Shapovalov. See the, behind them, the Rolex time there creeping up on the four hour mark. Fifteen low. going through good stretches in the middle of this match without that first serve. He's still at 63% for the match. I think because when he had it going right, when he has had it going right, it's very right. It's 70, 80%. Sort 50 of the first set he was at 80. This is the one thing that's hurt him slightly is when he's come in from a little bit too far back. There's a fine, it's about a step. If he's a step inside the baseline, he's won 95% of his points when he approaches. The ones that he's lost are when he hits a good shot, but he's a step behind the baseline, and that leaves that angle open for Tony Boost. Oh! Today. A couple of missed first serves in this game. Left center service line, the ball was called out. Second serve. Wow, that was a great second serve, too. 15 40. Mr. Shapovalov has two challengers remaining. Four of 19 on break chances, Karenia Busta, but it's been a long time since he's had one. Maybe all that scar tissue of not converting yes, is gone. Who knows? Right. That was one of the 
first volley Shepard Ball's hit all day. Yeah, exactly. Terrenia Booster wasn't going to run for it <laughs> until he realized, wait a minute, he sat it up for me. So back to this game that's been going on for almost four hours here. Break point, add court. Where does Shapovalov go? Yeah, right. He's been going T up an awful lot lately. Oh. There again. This will be an interesting second serve. Game. Got and the double time. fault comes back to bite him. Carreño Busta leads. Four and games, two, the two. worst moment, and now Carreño Busta has the lead. Let's hope that doesn't affect. I still think he has a chance to get one of these to get this break back. The way this match has gone, I'll be surprised if Carreño Busta holds out the next two. But. You get worried that all of a sudden Shavov will remember the double fault again. He had none in the first set and then eight in the second set. Once one of them came, they came in a flurry. Karani Boost has done a pretty good job of not consolidating after a break of serve and losing his serve the next game. Oh, you can't start with that. 15 long. Second serve for Shapovalov. That was a bad error. 72 mile an hour second serve, sort of right in the slot. You gotta, gotta make your opponent play, especially he knows he's got a chance for a semi. He can just hold serve twice more. That was a good solid point from Shapovalov, but he had been in control of the point. He didn't want to give it up, so he tried the jumping backhand rip down the line. Degree of difficulty very high. Chance for success pretty low, so 30 love for Karenia Busta. Forty-nine. First point of this game was amazingly important on that really nothing serve that Shapovalov made the bad error. So three points in the game, two of them missed service returns. But the last one at least was 117 mile an hour serve, so it wasn't a bad serve. The first one was the one that killed him. <laughs> Answers the two. first question. Final One sense. game away now. Well, late in the night. Score line that. Yeah, it lets you know it's been a little bit of a ride in this match. And Shapovalov was riding well until his last service game. And a costly double fault on break point. Fifteen lump. Hoping for Shabavalov to hold serve here just to see how Carreño boost the handles serving for a spot in the semifinals at 5-3 in the fifth. Oh. 
is to Shabavalov challenging the call. Left baseline, the ball was called in. Fifteen all. Last couple of challenges have been challenge remaining. As you call it, frustration challenges. Yeah. Serve rhythm left him all of a sudden. His last service game. It's fifteen thirty. Thinks in this set a little bit when coming to the net, Shapovalov. He's just forced the issue a little early in some of the points from too far back. Pressure again on Shapovalov's serve. Continuing the last two games to miss first serves. Busta mad, not the deal. mistake he wants to make. Especially now. This is almost yes, going to exactly. help Shapovalov if, if this game gets very tight and he manages to get out of the game. That'll, that'll add a, another layer of pressure to Karenio Busta. Well, on the Jimmy, I think you're over riding points tonight about Shapovalov going forward at just age 21. Though if he adds the net game more consistently than we've seen tonight, yeah, what no. a positive! Yes, he's then just oh. sort of yeah. fix the mental Shapovalov. issues that he yeah. has a little bit with the serve with the second serve. Absolutely, uh, the leads. five games to three. Right, so Shapovalov does his job and now putting your boost him. He's had a lot of easy service games tonight. As he's serving, just wipe out the fourth set. That doesn't that's yeah. a, that doesn't connect to the rest of this match. He has served at 73 percent per serve percentage. A lot of the time, just spinning them in at three quarters pace. Let's see if he shows any sign of errors. Misses a few first serves in this game. Situation that was just a regulation cross court forehand. Shapovalov wasn't trying to do anything special, those are the kind you kind of can't miss. Jimmy, the returns tonight, well, he's had too many, strikes me, too many missed returns in big situations. Yes, on nothing serves. Shuffle off, right. Yeah, that's a 73 mile an hour serve. No reason to miss that. So, two points away and a, two gifts from Shapovalov. Yeah, that Mr. Shapovalov challenging the call left and center service line. Well, the ball was one of the better ball. hits again, 123 for Karenio Busta. Let's see if it gets him to match point. Looks like it does by the look on Shapovalov's yeah. face. Ooh. No. Second does not. 
Wow, that effect. All right. Life here. Daniel boosted it all. Will he get tight for this second serve? Thinking he had 40 love. Very good, and now it is triple match point. He did a good job serving out the match. I mean, he did get a lot of help from Shapovalov in that last game. A couple of seconds serving. 